Oscar A is bringing to us a new MP5 um, style mini MP5 style blaster, but this one takes seven to eight millimeter gel balls, which m every other mini one like this that I've seen has been that six to seven millimeter gel ball, which is, you know, harder to find. And then if you have multiple blasters and you get them mixed up, you know, seven to eights won't work. So seven, eight millimeters will work in this one. So let's check it out, talk about it while we put it together. And of course, we'll do a demonstration and FPS test to see how hard it's shooting later. Also, this one at the time of this video is on sale for $29.99, which seems to be a great price. Uh, the regular price, I believe, is $39.99, which is a good price as well. But hopefully, some of you guys can catch it on sale if this turns out to be the right blaster for you. All right? So, Oscar gives you lots of gel beads, 45,000 gel beads here. So, four 10,000 packs, one 5,000 pack, a couple water activated targets, and then, of course, some instructions. Make sure you're soaking those gel beads right. They have to be seven, eight millimeters or your blasters will not work. Of course, if that's the right size for them. So soak these for four to six hours. Use plenty of water, a large enough container. At that time, there should be room left over in that container and some water left over uh, because then you know for sure they got seven to eight because they can't get bigger than that. So just drain off the excess water and you can store them in airtight containers for up to a couple weeks. That means you could store them inside the hopper if the lid's on it. Just never store them inside the hopper connected to the blaster. And always try to make sure your blasters are completely empty when you're done playing so that nothing gets stuck in there and gums anything up. I store them in like giant, in these Tupperware containers a lot. That works well for me. Okay. Got your battery here. You're obviously going to want to charge this up. 500 ma, 7.4 volt battery. These are that four pin single connection. So just go ahead. Plug this into any AC adapter that's one amp or greater, like a smartphone charger, charge it up. This one should be like a flashing red light that's then solid red when it's fully charged. That's typically what these red ones do. Battery compartment is right here. And again, this is one where I'm going to say go battery first and then kind of plug it in on the way down so that you have this harness at the top here so that when you go to get your battery out it's easy to kind of grab onto if you jam that harness in first you can end up getting stuck on things up there which you don't want on off button is right there that also functions as a safety all right it's working and ready and then we just need to put the bracket on so our bracket's going to slide on here you might need to loosen it a little bit. It should stop sliding when it's lined up. It can't go any further. You just tighten it down good. Okay. And as I say with all these brackets, once you get them on there good, just leave them. You don't need to mess with them and take them off and on. I would just leave them on there. Otherwise, they loosen over time, going back off and on. And then when you're running around, they move and the feeding is not proper. So that's pretty much ready to go. We'll just take our gel balls here, turn it upside down, and spin that hopper on. Now it's just time to go shoot it and check the FPS. So it'll be interesting to see. We've seen really good FPS ratings with that little 6 to 7 millimeter uh, mini MP5. You know, that one's hitting around close to 150 FPS. So it'll be cool to see if this one is too, because this will be a nice option for those of you who have multiple blasters and don't want to have to deal with remembering which size gel balls you have to put in which ones. So check back for the demo and FPS video. I'll attach it to a long version of this video too, but it'll be posted separately as well. Thanks for the support. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share this channel with your Gel Blaster friends. So we got that new style MP5. It looks just like the mini MP5. However, we noticed that the hoppers attached further forward here and that this can take seven to eight millimeter uh, gel balls, which the other mini MP5s always seem to take that six to seven weird size. So this is from Oscar Ray, showing you a lot of their blasters recently. We're going to go ahead and shoot this here, see if it uh, makes any difference on the FPS, and just see how it shoots overall. Let's 
see it shoots pretty nice. Let's see what kind of FPS we're at with it. Say on average between 100 and 105 on the FPS. So again, it's the Oscar A Mini MP5. Uh, what do you guys think? Comments, questions, of course, please post them below. And of course, like and subscribe and share all these uh, videos in this channel with your friends. And please participate in all the giveaways that I do every month.